Happy New Year's, guys! Welcome, it's Brenda from My Wee Wee Burns Kettle, and I got a not sure if on purpose, but a video request by CJ's Little Ducklings Nursery. It's Christie's Reborns on Facebook, Instagram, and Reborns.com. And the last video I did was with Noel Tannen. And this is my Noel. I changed him into this cute outlook. <laughs> oh my goodness, his hat. I did reweight him and I did do a video. I'm pretty sure with me reweighting him, but when he came to me, he was extremely light. Now, I'm not sure if he was extremely light on purpose or I do know that some artists um, ship them light to make it easier on costs. So, but I did add weight. Look at his details. And anyway, she asked me if he was the same size as the Tink. And I have both. I do have a Tink. I named her Amberly Bays. Now she's just right, right here. And by the way, you might hear noises. I have my family at home. But oh my goodness, I waited him so well. <laughs> He's so sweet. So happy new year, you guys. I have so many new goals that I would love to do. And one of them, I have to say, is that this year, <laughs> and this might sound kind of silly to some people and other people, it might totally make sense. But I am choosing to comment on any video I wish that I have an urge to comment on. <laughs> so, just saying. Now, okay, I'm going to flip the camera around and I will show you them side by side. And I'm so sorry about the lighting in here. It's not good so i'll take his booties off here's amberly bays i had her in this outfit last they are both premium size and they wear premium size clothing although the leaf the real born leaf he wears them a bit better they're a little bit big on the tank but it's okay so what i'll do and I don't think I reweighted the tank at all. Um, Noel here was reborn by Holly Paz of Precious Paz. And Amberly here was reborn by Lacey Molson of. Um, <laughs> she changed her nursery name. It used to be Lacey's Keepsake Nursery, but I think it's. Oh, I, I should have. I never bought from Lacey in a long time. The last doll she did for me was my Chase that I bought from McPherson's Arts and Crafts, and I got her to reborn him. But I bought the tank, she was already made, and she was selling him. Um, I forget her new nursery name, I'm so sorry. Okay. So let's move. Aw, isn't he sweet? So he seems a bit longer. Now, the best thing I love about Amberly is that her hair is very unique. Um, I know someone, a friend of the family, and I'm, I'm sorry I don't know the name of this condition, but our friend of the family, she also has like a certain 
spot in her hair that's a different shade than the rest of her hair. So, oh, um, well, look how cute. Look at her details. I forget the name of this condition. It can happen in the skin and it can happen with your hair color too. But this is Amberly. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, I love this hobby. Okay, I'm just gonna move Noel's outfit out of the way. Okay, so let's see. Oh, look, I love these for props. They are glass, um, good start baby formula, like when they're first born. Um, the good start comes with the white. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my goodness, I can't even think of the name of this. A rim. <laughs> and um, these are from the Evan Flows. But I thought, isn't that cute? I can have a blue and a white. I love that. I love them as props. Okay, so let's see what what can you see? Here are their legs. So you can see the leaf is a lot bigger. <laughs> I I feel like I'm hurting them. But I'm not. <laughs> their limbs elbow to elbow like this I must say I like her hands more Got into a coughing fit there. And their heads. Let's see if I can lower. <laughs> now I'm sitting down. Oh, I don't need to squish your face, baby. So here's Noel. <laughs> Imagine if these two were real squirmers. <laughs> yeah, this is both Tinks and Zenoles. I must say that I like Buddy Brown's sculpting more than this although I love the face but these these um fists I don't know the oh it's so soft though yeah the crunch <laughs> So anyways, guys, I hope that you had a really great New Year's Eve. I did not celebrate bringing in the new year. I was, actually, I was sick that day, so that wasn't fun. I had um, a really bad gut ache all day and a headache. And as I recall, I went to bed, like, pretty early, and I slept a long time I must have slept like it was long, like 13, 14 hours. That's how sick I was. <laughs> so yeah, when I woke up the next day, I felt a lot better. I still had a bit of a headache, not too bad. And um, I was eating better and I ate and I had a little bit of a stomach ache, but not as bad. So I am thankful for that. I checked myself for COVID. I do not have it, not even the slight hint. So, um, 
I do have many testing kits at home still. They're, for some reason, they're offering them free, like all over again, like they did in the summer. So <clears throat> these guys are heavy. <laughs> and these guys, um, I watched a video by Shelby, and she was talking about New Year's resolutions, New Year's goals. She does not believe in resolutions either. Or was it Shelby or was it Kevin Girl? Or both. <laughs> I forget. Um, <clears throat> but um, I do not do resolutions myself. I do goals. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in the last video that I've done. But um, my new goal for this year, like I said, I mentioned one already, which is true. <clears throat> my voice sounds so weird. Another goal of mine is to work on my um, boho accessories, the macrame, and I might do a tutorial now that I know how to make the knots really well. I'm really confident with making them, the pacifier clips and those uh, teething toys. I'm having so much fun making them that I do feel confident now in doing a DIY. I do want to go back into making DIY videos, um, maybe not only Reborn related, but other things too, but most of, most of the part Reborn related. I need to think about where I want this room to go. Um, my, wait, <laughs> I've just been coughing. My collection is really giant, you guys, and there have been years when I have been addicted to the box openings and the doll itself and the rush of buying such an expensive doll. But the thing is, um, I can't really afford that anymore. Um, I'm going, I'm not that I'm retiring anytime soon, but because I was unemployed for a long time and only doing term positions and then COVID closures, it was crazy. Um, so I just can't afford it anymore. I can't. Um, I am still looking on like Ashton Drake dolls from both eBay. There's a Canadian eBay that sells, uh, she's French, she's in Quebec. So her store name is all French, but <clears throat> she, I bought from her many times before and I really enjoy her store or I can buy from the Bradford exchange in Canada. And that allows me to go on payment plans, which is an option maybe, but I do know I would love to add at least one more doll in my collection for the 2023 year. Um, now, the reason why I'm hesitating in speaking is because I'm a part of me wants to downsize, but a part of me does not want to downsize. So I'm not sure what to say about that. I'm tongue tied. I'm tongue tied in whether or not, like, there was a time when I didn't have this room. And so I displayed my dolls throughout my bedroom and the living room and downstairs. Now that I do have this room, I used to think that I wanted to have them all out and see them in their glory. But um, a part of me is like, it's too much. Um, and some of them are probably getting dust because I don't interact with all of them. Now, see, what I used to do is I used to, <clears throat> well, I didn't have a question this big either, <laughs> but what I used to do was that I did put some away in storage because, you know, uh, some of us talk about bonding with the doll, how we feel about the doll, do we really love the doll, how do we appreciate the doll. There are some dolls that um, I do enjoy but I don't really love and if I can let go of them I probably would 
having said that when i go through my instagram my photos and see all my old photos um i i i re-love the dolls all over again and then that's when i feel a little regretful for selling some of the dolls that i have in the past um <clears throat> There are a few dolls that I have let go that I am completely fine with. But there are some dolls that I let go and I completely regret it. So I am so scared that if I let go of a doll that I'll mishumor her terribly. So that's why I used to have some dolls in storage to see if, like, if I miss them, would I reach for them again? Or if I don't reach for them, then I know it's time to let them go. Um, another part of questioning whether or not I should downsize is scams. <laughs> I'm so afraid of the scammers. Now, I personally already have a huge list of trusted sellers that I will buy from and who I will only buy from from now on <laughs> and it's quite a big list most of them are Canadian there are a few Americans that I have bought from before and I probably won't again but if I ever do then the option is there because of custom fees and shipping fees and is and the conversion rates is really hard <clears throat> but there are a lot of Canadians that I do trust buying from um, also the that Ashton Drake seller on eBay, that I trust her especially well. So um, my breathing baby is from her, the Ashton Drake. Um, <clears throat> oh my goodness, what's wrong with my voice? Are you too on my voice, on my lungs too hard? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, they're so sweet. Look, there's two of them. <laughs> Two of the babies and my twin bees there. See, I have so many dolls that are surrounding me right now that I it'd be a shame if they got I'm not gonna say completely ruined, but I mean like dust in their hair and their mohair, or if they're in their clothes for too long in the sun. Not that I let the sun in here. Okay, I really have to set you down, Amberly. And no, whoa. can just stay here. Oh, okay, cutie is. Little feet's cold. His little feet is cold way up in northern Canada. Another thing that, um,. <clears throat> Stalling. Stalling. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, definitely part of one of my goals within the YouTube is commenting more on the people who I want to comment on. Um, Kelly Girl's video, I forget when she did it, but she was talking about how there's a fear of commenting on other people's videos because that other people are watching and reading and looking out. I don't know why there's such, like, why is there yearning to see your enemy's friends? Like, it's hard for me to understand. Um, and it causes negativity. It causes, um, anxiety especially <clears throat> and it causes a lot of actually self-doubt like if you're a content creator and you're seeing all of this going on you're going to have um like questions about it and wonders about it and insecurities about it and it happened to me i'm sure it happened to so many others in this community and no matter what side of the fence you're on and that's a thing like, there are so many fences in this reborn community. Like, why can't you just be happy within your own? I don't know why so many want, people want to peek over the fence and see what's going on. Peek over the fence and see what's going on. 
I guess it's just a personality trait. Um, so I'm just not one of those people. And, but there was still like people in your ear, like watch out for this person, watch out for that person. Um, don't say this, don't say that, don't like, and it's like, it's, anyways, it's a huge, <laughs> it was, yeah. So I can understand also the many phases being in the reborn community, um, up and down phases, um, but not only within the members within your own community, there are so many outsiders who also cause a lot of headaches and insecurities. And that's why I block so many people. I, another thing too, is I've said or written a few things and it totally got misunderstood and misread. And, and then where it goes around that so-and-so said this, but it, they just took it wrong. Like, I don't know. And that's probably why the commenting stopped on other people's videos. Because of that one. Because me of that reason. Oh my goodness. And as usual, I'm rattling like crazy. <sighs> All I have to do is look at this beautiful baby. Oh, he looks like Brendan. <laughs> so sweet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to go before I ramble on too much. But thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I appreciate all of you. And um, Chrissy's Reborns, uh, CJ's Little Ducklings Nursery. I really enjoyed that comment that you left. And then her last words were like, um, how is he, the leaf, compared to a tink? And I'm like, that's, that's a good suggestion. I'm going to take that as a video response, like a video request. <laughs> and so I did. So I hope that you all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. And week coming up, I am going to um, take my son back home tomorrow. So I'll be traveling on the road all day tomorrow. And um, they are so supportive of me. <laughs> Anyways, I don't... <laughs> Thank you, my sons, for accepting me and my channel and my hobby and being supportive of my channel and my hobby <laughs> even my dad he he doesn't like the dolls at all but he is supportive of my youtube choices i do have a second channel it's called camper shack and it's in my home page if you go and check out the channels i do list my second channel it's uh off the grid we own off the grid property and we like to camp and hike and spend the days out there. One day I would love to build out there. But things are so crazy expensive. Because right now all that it is is a road leading in and bush. And that's it. Like there's no foundation. No. There's not even wood to cleared. Um, we did start a camper shack for calling it. It's a pallet cabin a shed a fort <laughs> a little fort made out of pallets so uh we didn't clear some land for that while well, francis did and uh he started on the floor of the pallet cabin um it's, it's not really a cabin it'll be the size of like a, a fort <laughs> but it's still gonna be great we do own a camper it's a tent trailer so you know, we love to camp in that and have fun. We glamp, I should say. We glamp. <laughs> Look at this guy. He might be ready to wake up soon. And then he'll be hungry. And he'll want to change. So I better not be. I better hurry before he needs me. <laughs> 
So news, guys, I hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. I love you all. And here's to a new year in 2023. I hope that you come back and join me with awesome new videos. I have a few goals in mind that I would love to do with my channel and hope that you will be a part of it. And uh, yeah, once I get some money gathered, I would like to start on those giveaways. I have mailed off quite a few of those already to like just personally but I would like to host some giveaways as well on my channel. <clears throat> so anyways guys, take care. And he might be cold too. He might figure that he's too cold. <laughs> anyways guys, take care. Bye for now. Watch out guys. Watch out. Bye guys. <laughs>